Everything these days is a nostalgia grab, whether it's dudes flying in jets to the sweet, sultry sounds of Kenny Loggins, again, or the kids from Stranger Things growing up incredibly fast before our eyes, or everything else 80s being pumped into our TVs, movies, and video games. It almost always feels like it's more of a cash grab than an artistic choice. Granted, Top Gun was freaking awesome, and Stranger Things is Stranger Things. Those seem to be the outliers more than the norm. When it comes to trying to recapture past magic, it's often easier said than done. Not that we at G4 know anything about that. But sometimes, someone, or something, comes along that's able to not only pay homage to the past, but paint a beautiful, brand new, picturesque future in its likeness. A fresh take on an old favorite. Not that we at G4 would know anything about that either. So when X-Play heard the announcement that Tribute Games was working on a brand new beat-em-up featuring our favorite half-shelled heroes, we were skeptically optimistic. But seeing as these types of games are my absolute jam, I was excited to get my three-fingered hands on it. And after playing it, I'm excited to tell you all about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. But at X-Play, we love to cover our bases and look at things from all angles. And while my forte is video games, we thought we'd bring in someone else that... Someone else that has extensive knowledge of animals and their place in video games? Oh, oh God, please don't tell me it's... Hey there, pal! Oh, God. Oh, so excited to be here. Are you kidding me? Oh, we're gonna have a good time, good buddy. Why? Why are you here? Did you really think that you were gonna talk about a video game featuring my favorite genetically mutated anthropomorphic turtles and I wasn't gonna find my way in here? I mean, when X-Play has questions about platformers and the like, they go to you. When they have questions about unnatural mistakes that God himself has shunned, they come to me. All right, that's a fair point. Look, just sit over there out of the way while I do this and if some reason comes up and I need you, I'll let you know, okay? Yeah. Goodbye, me, buddy. I got some uh, science to whip up anyway. I don't even know what that means. Oh, you will soon enough. Soon enough. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the past of the Turtles. Originally created in 1983, the Turtles were the brainchild of friends Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. Starting as a doodle by Eastman, they mutated into a parody of popular comics at the time, taking the piss out of Daredevil in particular. That's why the bad guys are called the foot and not the hand. Why they were created from a radioactive material, and even Splinter's making fun of Matt Murdock's mentor, Stick. Plus, the turtles started out much grittier and darker than what we know them as now. But Eastman and Laird had an opportunity to make more green by branching out into toys, video games, and of course... If there is a better cartoon theme song out there than that, I've never seen it. That song absolutely slaps. Uh, DuckTales, Rescue Rangers, Animaniacs, Inspector Gadget, X-Men. You get out of here. I'm not saying they're better. I'm just saying there's options. Also, fun fact, did you know that Chuck Lorre himself wrote the lyrics for the Ninja Turtles theme? Like, Chuck Lorre created a Big Bang Theory, Chuck Lorre? Yeah, the very same. Isn't that weird? Weird. But since this is a show about video games, let's talk more about those, shall we? There's been quite a few, so we're just gonna hit the highlights, which is really only about three games. For starters, in 1989, Konami asked, is it possible to both simultaneously make children happy while also infuriating them? And to everyone's delight appointment, which is delight and disappointment put together, they created Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the NES. While exciting and colorful, the level design was frustrating and the entire game was just unnecessarily difficult. And no, do not ask me to complete it. One level was entirely pointless because all it had in it was a pizza, which, yes, it does give you full health, but doesn't make up for the five lives you wasted discovering you could only have done literally anything else productive with your time. But that same year, they followed it up with a massive improvement when they introduced a brand new arcade cabinet into arcades everywhere. As a matter of fact, it became Konami's highest grossing arcade game and was so popular, they couldn't keep up with the demand and had to outsource its production to an American company. Can you imagine a company being so desperate for goods that they outsource it to America? That never happens. The game was then soon ported after to the NES and renamed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. 
This game was way better than the previous entry and maybe the one people are most familiar with. It let you choose your own turtle, it had a good story, the gameplay was on point, and the graphics looked great for its time. And speaking of time, let's skip ahead a little bit to talk about what might be the absolute pinnacle of beat-em-up games. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. This. This is how games like this should be made. It took everything that happened before it and it upped that bar. Cool story, great graphics, wonderful fighting, smooth mechanics, awesome music. Also, it had time travel, more mutated animals, and the return of a personal friend and colleague in Baxter Stockman. You're friends with, okay, no, just please get out of here. Turtles in Time was and is still a masterpiece that holds up to this very day. It is absolute Perfection. There were several Turtles games made after this, of course, but this one, no pun intended, stands the test of time and is the benchmark for Turtles games and others like it. So, the real question is, can you improve upon perfection? That's the question we at X-Play and many others found ourselves asking when Tribute Games announced they were working on Shredder's Revenge and should a return to the classic side-scroller beat-em-up format. I mean, after all, Turtles in Time left some pretty big three-toed shoes to fill. So let's turn our attention to the game at hand, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. It basically has two playable options, story and arcade mode, both of which are pretty much self-explanatory, but even arcade mode allows you to follow along with the story. But story mode features an overworld where you can go select any previous levels to accomplish different missions, which you know I did. Arcade mode limits your lives, continues, and does not save story progression. I suggest starting out with story mode simply because beating it on any difficulty allows you to play Casey Jones. In typical Turtles language, the difficulty ranges from chill to okay to gnarly. And let me tell you, the difficulty curve is definitely present in each of them while still being very enjoyable. As usual, you can choose from the four turtles, but the roster now has Master Splinter and April O'Neil as playable options, as well as the aforementioned Sporty Sentinel Casey Jones. Each character has their own unique moveset and abilities, falling into three different categories, range, speed, and power. Characters also have the ability to level up 10 levels in the story mode, which unlocks new moves and allows you to store multiple special attacks. Unfortunately, the leveling doesn't appear to carry over into arcade mode. The gameplay is as smooth as garlic butter on pizza crust. It's super intuitive as you would expect, and it's just plain fun. Every character feels unique when you play with them, also sporting unique taunts that let you charge up a special attack. There's numerous enemies that themselves have different strengths and weaknesses that force you to change your own play styles at times to defeat them. And when you're playing with multiple people, it seems that the number of enemies as well as their difficulty scales up to your group size. There's familiar old mechanics like grabbing enemies and throwing them at the screen, but there are also new ones that are welcome additions. For example, if you're playing with friends and someone goes down, they don't spend a life right away. Not yet, at least. Each player gets downed when they run out of energy and can be revived by an ally. How, you ask? With pizza, of course. Plus, the taunts are available that if completed in their entirety without taking damage, you automatically get a full bar for your next special attack. The level design is also impressive, paying clear homages to past titles and Turtles in Time most specifically. The levels and bosses feel both familiar and fresh. And you definitely get a sense of deja vu when playing the game, but not in a bad way at all. While the levels bear some similarity to the others in Turtles in Time, they are all unique, offering different ways to combat enemies, take them out, and new obstacles to overcome. And although the game is on the shorter side, around three to four hours to play casually, there are 16 levels in the game, which for a beat-em-up is more than generous. And then there's the damn music. Look, if you like the music from the NES and Super NES games, you're gonna love the music in Shredder's Revenge. Yet again, Fresh takes on old classics becoming something new entirely. If you thought the OG theme song is a banger, wait until you hear the original tracks by my boy Megaran, as well as Raekwon and Ghostface from Wu-Tang Clan, wrapped up in the T-Lopes bow that is T-Lopes. The music in each level continues to play when you pause, so I had to sit there and just vibe for a minute. Absolutely fantastic music in each and every level. Even the opening of the game is incredible. Remember when we showed the theme again earlier? That's 
actually a remake of the opening titles and the theme from the show, and it rocks as hard as it did 35 years ago. Holy sh**. 35 years ago. Look, this game had a lot to live up to, knowing exactly what it was modeling itself after. But Shredder's Revenge absolutely delivers. It feels as if someone went out to a field nearby the ET dump site and just started digging, just to see what they could find. And lo and behold, they discover a green safe, and locked inside of that safe is an unmarked SNES cartridge. They took it home, they fired it up, and found this incredible game. Shredder's Revenge is everything you want from a Ninja Turtles game. It has couch co-op and online play that allows you to play with up to six people at a time cross-platform within their franchises. So Xbox to PC, PlayStation 4 to PS5, so on and so forth. We actually gave it a try with six people and it was an absolute madhouse in the best way possible. Now it was hard to keep track of where you were at any given moment, but if you pull the left trigger on your controller, you find yourself pretty quick and you get back to kick and shell. But even though it can be sensory overload at times, there's few things more satisfying than watching all six of your friends hit their ult simultaneously. It looks like a freaking anime. All in all, this game is a blast from the past. And well, it's really just a blast in general. If you're looking for something you can just pick up at any time, play for a bit, and put back down, this is your game. Wanting a fun party game with your friends? This is your game. Want to feel like a kid again? This is your game. So with all that said, we at X-Play are giving Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Revenge from Tribute Games and Dot Emu a five out of five. I did it! I did it! What? What did you do, Kenny? I was finally able to replicate the beautiful mutagen by my colleagues at TCRI. Oh, this is this can't be good. No, don't Gerard, do this. I present to you the latest from Bitsco Industries, the Ooze 2.0. Uh, okay, look, you need to be careful with that. We're not insured here. I'm gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. I'll be careful. This is not what you do with something when you're trying to be careful. Come on, man. Ooh. You know what I'm gonna do with this bad boy. Oh, oh God. Yeah, I'm gonna become the most terrifying, intimidating thing you can possibly imagine. Go ahead and... Ooh, it's got a very um, okay. fruity afterbirth there. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh God. Kenny, are you okay? I did it. I'm invincible! Oh yeah. Need a bigger coat. What the f are you looking at? All right, so now that you've seen the review, we are going to do something uh, turtle adjacent, if you will. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be blindfold taste testing four different pizzas from four different places. We're gonna see if we can guess where it's from, and then we're gonna see which turtle we think best represents said pizza. So Gabrielle is here. She's going to be uh, tasting pizzas with me as well as Gerard. Uh, I'm very excited about this. I'm, I'm excited at the fact that you convinced the company to let us buy pizza for this. I know, it is. It's yeah, like right. our fifth pizza box. Yeah, it's great. We'll, we'll, when we get tired of the pizza, we'll mix it up with something else. Yeah, okay. oh, empanadas Ooh, for sure. empanadas. All right, first pizza. Let's try it, let's go. Blindfold Dawn. You, you, oh man, y'all are in trouble. This no, is gonna be you're such in a trouble. breeze. All right, so here we go. We have four choices, as we said earlier. Mm -hmm. Today, our choices are Domino's, Papa John's, Round Table, and Little Caesars. Uh, and this is the first one. I tell you, just off smell alone, I feel like I can maybe, <laughs> maybe not, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, here we go. That's the, all right. Okay. Oh man, I'm gonna lose this match. Mm. That's a good pizza. That's really yummy. Okay, okay. I'm here to eat all the pizza. The other tell is the crust. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna dive right into the crust. Oh, here. I went for that. 
I can tell you right oh. away. Oh. This does not taste familiar. I think this is the one I didn't have. I think I know which one this is. Me too. I think I know what it is too. All right, we're all ready? Yeah. Wait, who? who Gabrielle, knows? what do you think it is? Um, I think this is the round one. You didn't tell me the options, but I think it's the round table. Round, round table. table. round table. Round table. I also think it's round table. It's Make it three for three. That's round table. That's good stuff. All right. I'm gonna need that set aside to finish. Oh it. yeah, this is definitely. <laughs> oh, should not should I take it off? I, I looked at the pizza afterwards. My bad. Oh. All right. That's all right. Save this. So yeah, we'll put that aside. I'm eating that. I'm eating that later. That's that's a good piece. Good slice to start out. Mm-hmm. All right. Here's the second slice. Let's uh, let's dive in. Let's see Ooh, if I can find it here. Heavy. Oh, that is a heavy. That is that's a. Mm -hmm. Very saucy. Mm-hmm. The problem is the temperature. Temperature changes everything in pizza. Oh, I know that pizza. In this pi all day. I know that pizza. Yeah, I know it. I think. <laughs> I think I don't. I don't think I know it as well as I should. No. Well, should I go yeah. first? Sure, you go first this time. I think this is Papa John's. I concur that it is Papa John's. I also agree. Wow. Okay. Were you right? I don't know. No, we'll we don't see. Know yet. We'll see afterwards. Oh, I see. But um. Yeah, I'll keep stacking mine. We're just <laughs> Where it is, is? I'm so ready. Do I have a stack of pizza somewhere? Here's the third slice of pizza, and that is, uh, I don't even need to try it. I know what it is. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Ooh. I also know what it is. Okay. Just confirm, I know what it is. Tastes like college. <laughs> so nice. That tastes like a $5 hot and ready from Little it, Caesars. Baby. I don't know how it felt like Little Caesars, but when I picked it up, oh, I said- Oh, the, the moisture on the bottom. It's It's- the buoyancy in which yeah. the crust bounces <laughs> the in your hand. Yeah. That sauce is way different than any of the like quality. It's got a lot of kick. I got can't kick eat more of, of it. Sauce. I cannot eat more of that one. I think it's Caesar's. That one I'm I'm okay not eating ever again. That's <laughs> Yeah, I am sad I ate a bite. I'm sorry, little Caesars fans. Get your five dollar no, pizza. Here's, here's the prop. New pizza's Buy a new pizza. All right. Fourth and final pizza. We've all been Good unanimous fun. so far, and I feel like, I mean, oh, I already there's really only one based option. Off of, yeah, off it's of a, holding it. It's again a texture thing. I mean, not my friend. Can I say it? It's Domino's. It's Domino's pizza, baby. It's been a while since I haven't gotten the ultra thin crust, but that sauce is. I always go ultra. It's unmistakable. I always go ultra thin crust on. You can Domino's. tell because. For some reason, Domino's cheese is just like non-existent. Oh. <laughs> they're bread, they're bread like, also. Like I can't taste the cheese. But the, the crust is also the dead giveaway. Even yeah, the dough bubbly. has a consistency giveaway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. I hope we're all wrong. Garlicky crust. I think we're right. The okay. fact that all three of us were able to make those deductions on our own. I will bet my reputation as a fat man that I'm right on all four. I also support my reputation as a fat man. For yeah. That. And as a picky, Okay. I think Skinny we can take person. our blindfolds off now. Okay. All right. So we tried all four pizzas. We were actually all unanimous in where we thought it was from. Yep. <clears throat> so let's go with the first one. The first one we said was round table. Round table pizza. Round table. Were we correct? We, we were, right. were correct. We were correct. All right. One for one. One for one. One for one. The second one uh, we said was Papa John's. Is Papa John's also correct? Hey! Two for two. Oh my God, are we the pizza gods? We might be, pizza we time. might be. Oh, is this, do we get Little Caesars wrong? The third one <laughs> we said was Little Caesars. It is that? has to be Little is Caesars. Is that correct? Oh! Yes, yes. <laughs> four for four. Woo! Domino's. And Domino's was the fourth one. All right. Guys, I'm really proud of us. I'm proud of us too. I'm unfortunately I'm also... proud as well. <laughs> <laughs> love the pizza. Love that it's for work. Yeah. And just to be clear, we did not get paid for any of the pizza. No, we didn't get paid for any of the pizza. We no. got paid in pizza. We got not paid by in any pizza. of the pizza. And also, they'd it, be mad if we did that. Right. 
And also, it should be said, just a little legalese here, all opinions about the pizza are our own. Yeah, we don't uh, speak Even if they are correct. We don't speak on behalf of G4's singular opinion on pizza. <laughs> correct. <laughs> the opinions expressed here about pizza are solely those of the people on camera. Who and eating the pizza. There you go, lawyers. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> So let's move on to the next part, yeah. shall we? Yeah. Um, let's determine what turtle we think yeah. represents each pizza. And Should let's start with, uh, what do we have over here? Round table. Round table. What do we think, who do we think is, is round table? I, I'm, I'm, I'll start it off. Mm -hmm. I think round table's wrath. It just, it has really? the most, it has the most distinct personality out of all of the pizzas. Mm. Yeah. It had like the, the crunchy pepperoni and really, like the flavors were really good. The yeah. cheese stood out. I agree. You know what I, I, I'm going to say? I'm going to, I'm going to switch it up here. Sure. I think it's Donatello. Okay. Donatello is a man of science. Mm -hmm. Everything about that pizza had a perfect balance. Mm. Pepperoni, the cheese, okay. the sauce, the crust, everything was on point. It was like it was all meticulously planned by a pizza scientist. That is why I think Donatello is, is round table. You know what, I'm going to agree because I think I'm gonna put Raf on Little Caesars. Are you? Wow. Well, that's interesting, but we'll get there. We'll get there in a moment. So. Uh, all right, so you said Raph. I, I will go, I will concede for Oh, we're gonna go, okay, Donatello. so we're, Donatello. Donatello is, and is, uh, boom. round table. There we go. Oh. Donatello. All right, up next, we have Papa John's. I'll, I'll, I'll start with Papa John's. I think it's Raphael. Oh. I, you, that was yeah. iconic. I went back and forth. I'm just over here picking up colors, honestly, because I can't. I don't know the names. I well, appreciate the honesty. Um, I, I agree based on the personalities that you've described. Yeah. I, I say uh, Raph, uh, Raph has an attitude. And uh, I think the Papa, the Papa had an attitude too. <laughs> You More recently, what? that's what? why Shaq is the face of Papa John's now. No, I, I think it's still Little Caesars. Is still Little, you, you say Little Caesars. Okay, I'm gonna say what was this guy? No, nah, it doesn't matter. I'm saying Raph for for uh, for Papa, Papa John's. John's. I put Raph at Little Caesars. Okay. Oh, we're supposed to be using our own pizza. Nah, I've been eating just, my uh, I've been eating my pizza. Well, that's my piece, and the rest of these are Gabrielle's. Okay. Who, who, what are you What are you going with? For Papa John's? Yeah, for Papa John's. You said, you said, all right, we stuck with Donatello, right? Yes. Yeah. We all agree. Donatello mm -hmm. is. Okay. Yeah, Over we there. All round table. Donatello. Um, I'm going to go actually Leonardo from Papa John's. Wow. Oh. It, it, it was a surprisingly good pizza aside. From, I, I think out of all four of these, out of not ever, after, especially full disclosure, I grew up eating Domino's a lot in my house. Sure. So um, I think uh, Leonardo. Mm -hmm is a good embodiment of what Papa John's could be. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. And you say, and, and you say so who do you say for Papa John's? Not Raph. Not Raph. Break it down. Break it down for me. Give me the personalities. Give me the beats. <clears throat> for Papa John? No. For well, Raph. Leonardo is the leader. He's the sure. most disciplined of the, uh, of the group. Uh, kind of so the, it can't be Leonardo. And then uh, Michelangelo is the party dude. It's got to be Michelangelo. Okay. It's not a party unless you order Papa John's. <laughs> wow! Wow! We got it. Right. But they certainly should not be the leadership in pizza because wow, they sure. got issues. Okay. <laughs> what exactly. do you want uh, in yours? You, you said Donatello for for round table. Yes, we all said we all said. We Donatello. all agreed. We all said Donatello. Hand me your Donatello. Now we're gonna jam it in there. Trying to make it look a little presentable there for this go. order. Boom. Alrighty. So now Little Caesars. Which I put Raph. Which on. you say Raph. I say Mikey. Mikey to me says Little Caesars. Mikey's the fastest of the turtles, right? They have the hot and ready. Mikey, Mikey's always hot and ready. You know what? I gotta go with Gabrielle. I think it's a Raph pizza. Wow. 
that it's it, it's a it, it's a pizza that is not abrasive. A, it's abrasive. It doesn't <laughs> apologize for what it is. What you see is what you get. That's Raphael. Baby. That's a fair point. That's yeah. a fair point. Taste yeah. able to identify yeah. sight unseen. Really, okay. like yeah. All right. On weight alone. Right. <laughs> I can tell. And then finally, Domino's. He's the leader. Now he's also one of the oldest pizza places. Really? Yeah. Oh, how about See, that? You learned I'm, something new? I'm going that? Michelangelo. Okay. And there's a, there's evidence for this one. Let's hear it. The 1988 film. Of course. Starts off with the pizza guy wandering in the sewer, and Michelangelo is there, and he goes, pizza dude's got 30 <laughs> seconds. Yep. And then the pizza comes down, he starts cashing, counting it, and he goes, tab 15, he goes, uh, forgiveness is divine but mm -hmm. never pay full price for late pizza. That's wise. So that's why I gotta go with Michelangelo. It's a okay. direct quote from the film. Also, fun fact, the guy that was playing the pizza delivery guy was the voice of Raphael in the movie. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. Wow, that's rad. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm also saying Leo. Leo is, Leo is like the, the He's like the Captain America of the Ninja Turtles. He's the poster boy. He, he, the, the red, white, and blue. That's that's Leonardo to me, and that's that's Domino's. Domino's is. Uh, they most... are the red, white, and blue, literally. So right. I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. Wow, very interesting. We we all started off unanimous, and then all went on. Had our own little path. diverging paths. Yeah. We broke apart, but I think we all learned something about ourselves. Agreed. Something about. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And, indeed. And pizza. Pizza is the great unifier. Everybody and loves pizza. I've learned that all these pizzas are bad unless they're hot. If they're not hot, they're awful. I love round table. It's just gotta say. I've never had it before. Delicious. I was a big fan. I've never had it either, but I'm a big fan. Yeah. Well I, done, I, I gotta say, if you are in your own hometown, the vibe always, in my opinion, is support your local pizzeria. Local Absolutely. pizza. Hands down, always better. Always better. Pizza. Always better. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for doing this with me. It, was, it, it wasn't like I had to twist your leg to do it at all. Not at all. Yeah. And thank you for joining us. Yeah. I demanded to be in this video. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. Uh, go watch some other stuff on our X-Play channel. Watch us every Tuesday live on Twitch. We have some more pizza to eat. You have a game to play. Get out of here.